Hey, what's up, world? This is Julian over at Crystal Reef Aquatics. I'm here with Robert Shields from Northwest Aloha team. He's the managing broker. Uh, he's been a longtime customer of ours. This is a custom aquarium that we helped uh, build and design. I'm going to have him walk you through his system, talk a little bit about what he's going, got going on. So, hey, um, originally built this tank. Um, dimensions were kind of important to me. Um, I wanted a tank that was just looked right. Uh, I wanted a deeper tank. This is a 36 inch deep tank. Um, I didn't want a full six foot though, so it's a little shy of six foot. I think we went with uh, 68 inches wide. It just looked right, two foot tall. Um, came out to be just sort of 250 gallons with the, the gallonage in the sump there. Um, but I had uh, Crystal Reef Aquatics build me the tank. They did a great job with the black silicone. Um, we, uh, we went with the top braces uh, on top of the Euros. Uh, I was originally going to do some glass tops on here um, just to kind of clean up the look, but I decided against it over time um, and just left the braces that way. I just think they, they show that nice black outline on the tank, just mm -hmm. perfect. Do you have any Starfire on the tank? Yeah, uh, front and this side is Starfire. You might want to take So both both viewing panels we have. Yeah, this. both viewing panels. And that's a really important one. When you come into the house, I get people, when they walk in, they're just like, whoa. Yeah, this is, the, this is the front door right here. So as as we walk in, you get, get a full, full full three feet of view. Right, full three feet and then just deep. And, and it just gets better as you walk around it. Um, tank's about 10 months old. Um, it's been great. Uh, they did the tank for me. Um, I have their lights as well, the Crystal Reef LEDs, um, supplemented with some T5s. Uh, I did add the T5s, oh, I don't know, about three months ago just to kind of wash it out so that some of the corals, as they grew, I knew they were going to grow. Sure. It wouldn't shade out and stuff would still The T5 there. definitely adds some diffuse lighting to the whole situation. Yeah, for sure. Plus, they grow corals really well, too. That they and do. And then um, did the sump for me as well. I've got uh, one of the precursors to their new sump, uh, so I feel like I was kind of a little part of the R&D there uh, with that new sump design. Yeah, well, so, you got the you got the flashy one. Yeah, you want yeah. to take a look? So it's a uh, it's an orange and blue, and I've got some some uh, some blue LEDs down there just to kind of show it off. Kind of hard to see with all this uh, SPS equipment in the way. Right. Huh. Yeah, I've got a big uh, calcium reactor right in front of it, so that makes it tough. Totally. Um, and then my uh, skimmers over here. I'm a real big fan of reef, reef octopus stuff. I've had reef octopus for a while. Um, this is the first time I've gone with an external skimmer, and I'll tell you, this thing pulls out some skimmy. Um, I actually run to a, a, a reservoir down below to collect, um, just because it takes out so much. Sure. Um, what do we got going for flow in this tank? So, I've got, it's all DC pumps. Um, the DC pumps are, uh, the only thing that's not DC pumped is, is the circulation pump on the uh, calcium reactor. Everything else is DC. Two closed loop systems. Um, so those are built into your rock work here? Uh, yeah, there, there's one of them on this side. Um, and if you look I think closely, I see you can see there. a return right there. You there. Go. And the other one is, is in this, this pile of the rock work there. Hiding, um, hiding by all the SPS. Right, hiding. Yeah. Yeah, eventually we'll get blasted pretty hard the SPS in some spots. Sure. That works out. I can then, tell you're uh, you're an SPS freak. Yeah, that's no question. <laughs> I like the sticks. So, I'm so the stick. this tank has been running for ten months. You 10 said ten months. Yeah. All right. And every frag in this tank was one inch or smaller ten wow. months ago. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, thanks. So, um, and I've got some newer stuff in there too, like uh, the Satosa is a new one. I just added a Satosa to put some orange in that spot right there. So sure. that's a new one. There's some other ones that are new that haven't grown out yet. Um, so I just keep adding to it and finding little little homes for things. This is this is a pretty clean system. What's your water change schedule like? <laughs> I've never done a water change. Um, I test uh, for organics, um, nitrates, and phosphates weekly. I've never I got phosphates one time to one. Uh, I've never got the nitrates to measure ever. Interesting. Um, so I've never done a water change because there's no reason to. Um, You're dosing the right minerals back with your calcium reactor. Skimming out all the nasty stuff that I can. Sure. And you know what? Honestly, the rock, I'm a big fan of the Bucani rock, which is what I have in here. Mm -hmm. The rock really does a lot to put uh, anaerobic zones in for that 
uh, anaerobic bacteria. Shout out to Bulk Reef Supply there for their Pukani yeah. rock. Yep. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. Um, what, what about the livestock? What do we have for fish in here? So, this is Leroy Jenkins. Hey, Leroy. Um, Leroy started off, uh, I've, I've had him about four months now. Leroy That's... was a wild caught naso. Um, he did not eat for a while and he was very timid. And as you can see now, he's not timid at all. Uh, he's got an affinity for fingers. <laughs> for fingers yeah. yeah, he'll eat anything you put in the tank. That's um, right. I've got a coli tank that I that I got from Julian that I had in my other tank. So that coli tank's probably three, four years old, something like that. That's from the old Crystal Reef Aquatic Store. Right, for yeah. sure. And then Scopius tang. Uh, I've just got that ras not too long ago. That's like the a orange really back fairy. Orange back fairy. Yeah. Um, and then I've got a couple other. Uh, you know, I've got a breeding uh, pair of uh, oscillaris is that, is that what this little orange splodge yeah, is? Yeah, they just laid this morning. So, you know, they're orange when they first lay and then they color up as they mature. So Sure. That's um, a pretty sweet Favia you got there. Yeah, that Favia has been around with me for a while. That's one, of, that's one of the only ones I should say in the tank that wasn't a small frag when I started that sure. Favia. I grew that I, re I remember you getting this guy from me. Yeah, that Pictinia is pretty nice. I got that Space Invader from you. It was about a quarter of that size when I got it. What about uh, this uh, Red Ghani here? Yeah, that Ghania was probably the size of a maybe a silver dollar when I got it. And uh, it didn't extend, uh, polyps didn't extend for about more than three quarters of an inch. And now, as you can see. And you bought that from my new shop how long ago? Oh, probably five six months ago something like that six months and it started out as a silver dollar size now it's almost as big as your naso tank yeah for sure wow and no water changes no water changes jeez i'd do it if i had to I'm sure not, you know. what do you, <laughs> i'd ask you what you're using for salt but you're obviously not using any <laughs> yeah well <laughs> originally the original salt um is uh what, what's the stuff you guys carry uh fritz rpm fritz rpm right yep but it's been so long since I forgot what it is. I haven't bought any in, I don't know, a year. So. Sure. <laughs> you want to point out some of your favorite sticks we got here? Yeah, so um, let's see. What do we got here? Um, this one, I, I don't know the name of it. It's obviously a tort. Um, it's not a Cali. It's not an Oregon because um, I do have both of those up top. But it's definitely a green and, 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 and blue tort of some kind, and it's just grown like a weed. Totally. Um, this... Uh, this one right here, actually, this purple one, it's, it, it doesn't show up as well in photographs as it does live. It's so deep and dark. Um, it's all, you know, blue, purple, and the tips are really bright. Yeah, it's and the cool. video definitely looks a little bit more, uh, more bright purple. Right. But it's definitely got a super nice dark Super blue. dark, dark. Um, I got this one up here. Um, I, you know, I don't remember. I originally thought that it was a... Um, Garth bonsai, mm -hmm. uh, but it really isn't growing like a Garth bonsai, so it's a little different. It's definitely got the same coloration. Coloration's there, but its growth pattern's very different. Again, in the video, it's looking more green, but there's a lot of blue and purples in there for as well. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, and then I'm kind of doing a, a whole um, digitata thing going on over here. <laughs> it's kind of my little digi garden going on over here right now. Yep. So I've got different colors. I've got I've got pink. I've got green. I just picked up the new one on the left there. It's kind of a red. Um, so hopefully those will all grow together really cool. Um, yeah, I've got all kinds of neat ones. Um, I, I'm a real big... Uh, Fan of hairy acros and hairy sticks. So, oh, yeah. So, we've yeah, got, we some, got some millies in here. Got some really hairy millies in here. This one right up front really shows the pinks and the teals um, under the blue light. Um, another one up top. And the other one up top's growing out really strong. Uh, it's going to hit the top of the water here pretty soon. Um, and then I've got all kinds of other stuff mixed in as well. I mean, yeah, I see got, you got a, a nice chalice over I've here. Got some chalices and the jack o' lantern. Yeah, I've got jack o' lantern lepto. Yep. That chalice. That's another one, actually. I shouldn't say that one. All my SPS sticks were short. This one I've had for a long time. That that red chalice with the, the kind of a yeah, burgundy stripe. Yeah, it almost drafted, doesn't it? Yeah. So I've had that for a long time. That was about the size of a 50-cent piece when I got it. So what, what would you say are uh, some of the top things as far as uh, making this such a successful SPS system? Just stability. I mean, honestly, the day that I went into calcium reactor land, just changed my whole world for SPS. It just it it just makes everything so much stable, and you're dosing the nutrients that are in the skeletons already anyways. Sure. You're breaking them down. That helps so much. The Can lights are awesome as well. 
I mean, obviously they work. Yeah. And they grow corals. So can I can I assume that you were manually dosing when you first started the hobby? Yeah, I started manually dosing. Then I went to you know doing dosing pumps. And sure. Doing, you know, doing two part with dosing pumps, and then I finally stepped up and bought a really nice calcium reactor, and that's changed everything for me. Who who built your calcium reactor? So that was a Reef Octopus calcium reactor. Um, okay. It's a dual eight inch, dual chamber eight inch um, DC pump. So. Yeah. Right on. Well, I really appreciate you sharing your system with us, Rob. This was a pleasure to help design and build, and we're just really excited to see it start to take off. Yeah, thanks. I'm really stoked. Anybody could be proud of this system at ten months, let alone multiple years. All right, well, if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at crystalreefaquatics.com. Rob, how can people find you if they have uh, any needs in the Pacific Northwest area for real estate? Yeah, real estate or even if you just want to talk about the tank. Absolutely. uh, NWAloha.com is my website. I've got my personal cell phone number on there. Uh, I can still do that for now. We'll see how long that lasts. Sure. uh, But you can get a hold of me on there. Send me an email, whatever you'd like. But I'd be happy to entertain any questions for you or help you any way I can. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again. We really appreciate you sharing your take with us. All right. Rock and roll. All right. Cheers.